All right, guys, what's going on? It's knock. It's got an hour or so, so just thought I would start some new threat mod. Yes, new thread, 1.5. Um, been trying to start this for a while. And I want to start for a while, but other games got in place. So I'm going to be actually, I'll be playing this. Long way. Um, I'll be playing this after um, after I have finished either Push Pipe or Infinite Factory. This will be the replacing game for that. But um, yeah, no, I really wanted to play New Threat for a while. I've been putting off other people's playthroughs, watching other people's playthroughs, so that I can actually enjoy it a little bit for myself. Uh, probably going to stream for about an hour today. Not going to be a massive amount of time. Just want to sort of start it up, get on board with it, and see where we go. So, those of you who don't know, New Threat is um, one of the most highly rated mods at the minute for Final Fantasy VII, and it allows you. It, it basically like changed a lot of the game, made it harder, put extra quests in, loads of added in stuff. So, I'm really excited to play this. Um, not going to spend too much time reading dialogue and storing things because I am just uh, a couple of months ago on the, off the back of a um, 70 hour playthrough of Final Fantasy 7. So we'll be like skipping dialogue and stuff and just you know, not spending time too much with story related stuff. But um, yeah, no, excited to see what this is and where we can go with this. Indeed favourite game from 21 years ago. <laughs> Streaming all episodes live and we'll be uploading as well to YouTube. For anybody who isn't able to make the um, streams, of course. Alright, here we go. Let's see how much I can actually remember from my Play through a couple of months ago. It's a more interesting thing. Interesting. Future episodes will also have a um, camera on as well. Uh, during battle, the ex-soldier will gain a boost to strength and magic whenever a limit break is used by the party. Okay. What other commands there were? Oh wow, I start off with three materia. Normally you only start off with. I think you normally start off with. Lightning and bolt. Uh, lightning and ice, I think. Let's check config.
Are they the enemy? Let's go on DZN07. Welcome on the stream, buddy. Hope you're well. Alright, let's... Stick with default names. So the character models are slightly darker than the enemy as well as well. Thank you very much for the follow, buddy. Appreciate it. Welcome along to the stream. Welcome along to the community. Well, I'm just starting out today. Um, I'm going to be streaming for probably about an hour today. But I uh, appreciate it nonetheless. All right, where am I going to go? Put a couple of arms into play. Spell speed for this bit. That's why I'm running through the reactor. Protects physical damage, he gains a stack depending on whether he is in the front row or back row. Okay, what's my stack on there? Front row stacks raises strength, back row stack increases. Okay. Only five stacks of either type can be held, gaining a stack of one type will reset any held stack of the opposite type. Alright. Man, this is this is some crazy stuff. There's a lot of detail in this model already. I'm just starting out. A lot to understand. place where I used use the original button I don't weirdly. I don't know why I don't. It's weird. Probably should save that for uh card scorpion. Cloud limit boost. Alright so the barrel gets stacked every time he attacked. Cloud gets a some sort of boost every time a limit is used. I guess I, I guess we'll, I probably need to go back and see that, but I think that probably means it gets a boost on his um, actual limit marker. Oh wow! Uh, a potion seems to do a lot more healing than in this video game. That's for sure. Let's 
Still don't matter. No, I've, I've, I played through vanilla about um, two months ago, which is like the first time in freaking years. Um, and then I found out about new threat, so um, I kind of decided I wanted to play new threat as well. Um, this is going to fit into my normal streaming schedule shortly. Um, currently finishing off a couple of other games, but as soon as I finish one of those games off, I, uh, this will be featuring my normal schedule. Uh, which is like a, a nighttime schedule. But I've, um, I do watch a lot of Final Fantasy VII videos and, and playthroughs and runs, so. Spot. I feel like they're, I feel like they're hitting harder already. Enemies. Yellow is a red. Remedies or anything. 
question. Space armaments, I think. Doesn't the timer though normally start after the fight? Sure it does. Again. Oh, he's dead. Is he dead? No. I thought it was like animate, like death animation or something. I was getting excited. Open. Now this dude is like a lot more health than normal. It's like setting out about the benchmark already for the mod. How difficult it's going to be. There we go. Good day. First boss down. Excuse me. Wow. Get out of here. Try and get out of here at least. And if 
remove the save point. How rude. Remove the save point. Jesse modded it, and there was a segment where you had to. Oh, there's a little reactor escape here. You actually have to um, save Jesse or, or free him. He gets uh, just. I don't know, Jesse, poor girl. Jesse gets stuck, basically. Come on. And you have to free Jesse. Not at this point. There's like a, a, bit, a little bit further on. This happens in vanilla. Fight. Can't escape. Are you kidding? Oh, shit. Oh wow. Hold on a minute. She's in my party. What the hell? God, Scorpion's like chasing me down. Oh shit, she's bumped. Alright, dodge though. Oh, again. I hope he's dead good this time. That's cool though. Somebody actually made an in battle character on Jesse. Down there if they get stuck. I mean, somebody's through this door and you have to go back down and free them, but yeah, that'd be pretty harsh with the Grand Scorpion fight. Or the Guard Scorpion fight, sorry. Guard. Too many. Jeez. Switch on. There can't be any enemies in this segment, but uh, yeah, there is. You see, I've like let myself um, take on those those enemies there. Thinking I'm right at the exit, I bet there'll be like another boss fight here or something. You see. You see. I know we're, we're good. We are good. Good, and we're out of the first reactor. You can still hear them clear as day. It's ridiculous. They are that loud. It's 
about the money? When do we get back? I'm going to pick up here. So I'm going to buy a flower of Mary's. I'm not going to get drawn into the debate of how to pronounce the name right. To me, it's Ares. <laughs> Sorry to any diehards. No, I didn't buy a flower. I always try and do get the Aries date. Surprised that, like in that cutscene, they didn't show like the soldiers like, looking off the cliff behind him. Cloud never came. Oh, right, sorry. Sorry. Seems like it's gonna, there's going to be some more flashbacks in this. Nothing to grab. Let's move on through the train.
to put it together. So far. Oh, that skips the whole barrack dialogue. It's normally you do have to talk to Barrett though. She doesn't know where to like fast forward cutscenes though. I feel like they have to jump off the train. I just walk off the train like normal people. This one's going to be bigger. I get scared by that one. Move out. Young love. Let's get a save. Man, it took me so long to um, get used to the controls for a start. First played this on vanilla. There we go. That's maybe what I wanted to do before. Let's save again. Ah, controls. Okay, I'll, I'll get there in a minute. Huge, ain't it? That's what she said. <laughs> All right, I should have told this bloke. Got something goes on for ages. Little baby, it's not my little baby. What are you talking about? Papa? I need to get that money. My material menu, so I can start putting the material on people. Don't you worry. Sorry, I probably understood like the story behind Cloud. I did my new playthrough a couple of months ago. 
because I never really understood whether it was a fake or a fraud. I kind of understood it a bit more. I guess now looking at like the dialogue and what Tifa is saying to him, um, it makes more sense why she's like always asking, "Are you all right?" The way like she found him like in a state, and she kind of knows that he's not telling the truth. So. Not my problem. Don't forget. Interesting that the game didn't say um, Tika had, Tifa had an ability. Maybe it'll tell me later when it, she has her first battle or something. But every time I've named a character so far, it's told me what their special ability is. Could be wrong. Could tell me in a little bit. I'm sure she's got one. They wouldn't put special abilities into some characters, not others. I think I actually ever see that 2,000 gil though. Which is annoying. Money is everything going on in the game. When you get past a certain point, money really isn't a problem anymore, so... that take like longer. No option though to 
skip. Where's Holy? Really? Interesting. <clears throat> That's awesome. Once per battle, when Tifa is KO'd, she'll auto revive with 1 HP, retaining her statuses, limit gauge, and queued actions. Okay. Interesting. Good to note. She's cover and enemy, a mastered enemy lure. Not sure I want that, but I'll leave it on for now. See how we go. So let's go, I don't like to do it normally, but go to Beginner's Hall. Got a test battle for you if you want to do some practicing. Just. All right, so I think at this point, uh, lightning all is best combination. Now, oh, expanded features, right? So as a save point, you can quickly use a tent without accessing the menu and toggle certain options. You can also access something else, but right now it's a secret. Don't believe the talking treasure chest lies. Don't care, don't lie. Don't die. Don't care, don't die. I've got no enemy, enemy waiting to ambush you, so open any chest you find. <laughs> Alright, interesting. Seems like some treasure chests may ambushes. Okay. I gotta remember because my things are all messed up actually. Probably need to remap them at some point. But yeah, my, my buttons and things are messed up a little bit. So let's save and begin this hole. Alright, 
cool. Uh, I think I'm done here. Let's just see if there's anything in the shop I need to buy. So, let's go. I'll play to the next save spot and then I should have to call it for today. That's it, it's only a, a short stream today. Be a lot better once I get into my normal streaming schedule. So I actually found out that if you um, if you just stand here and let the timer run down, you can actually get off the train earlier. Um, and supposedly it, it puts you nearer to where you need to be. missing. Like a pointless attack. Oh no, I slowed him. Yeah. I did 
difference between like Tifa who's not slowed and Barrett. Yeah, they're all slowed. Man, having cover early is like weird. Too long to freaking take these guys off. It's quite weird to actually change the battle music to be like the field music, so we get the normal battle music. from these battles. Next battle I get to. I start fighting them. Oh man, they changed this. There we go. Power just gotta get sticking the ass down this little hole. as well. press it like quick enough after interesting at that time cloud didn't get a limit boost Is it maybe only once per battle hmm no we'll keep an eye on that I thought that would have like nearly put cloud on his limit but it didn't move It's all your fault. Is this the right way? Yeah, I think so. We gotta get a save. Which is the main thing.
save it there guys that's going to be a nice little intro into the new threat mod we will be carrying this on like i said um i may get another hour in tomorrow morning uh but once i have finished my current games i will be able to slot it into um my evening stream so i'll be able to do a, a three three and a half hour stream at a time which will be a lot more um a lot better thanks for tuning in guys appreciate the support um yeah till next time i mean not you've been awesome See ya.